There are several ways to sell the customers on a TikTok shop. Depending on your situation and your goals, one might be better or worse for you than another though. So the first is to have products on hand, list them to TikTok shop, and then ship them out with the TikTok label when you actually get a sale. This process is similar to any typical e-com business, obviously, and this assumes that you have your own brand and your own products already, right? So for instance, let's say you have your own Amazon private label brand or your own Shopify store with white labeled products already. In both of those cases, it would make sense to automatically connect your Amazon or your Shopify store into TikTok shop and also list your products there as well. But for most of us, we don't have a brand already. We don't have products on hand or in our warehouse already to then list and ship out to customers. And that's where drop shipping comes into play. Now, when drop shipping on TikTok shop, there's two approaches that you can use and both are effective and each has its advantages and disadvantages. The first method is a simple one that I've used on sites like Poshmark and OfferUp where you need to use their labels to ship. Now I call this drop ship arbitrage. It works like this. Essentially, you list products from any website that can deliver to your address within two to three days. And this way on TikTok specifically, you can still ship out with the TikTok label to customers because you need to ship out within three days or have the logistics partner at least scan the package in within that three-day window. Now, by the time you're watching this, it might be just two days already. They are changing it in the near future, but they are somewhat lenient if you don't abuse it. So you usually just get a warning. It's an occasional late shipment warning in my experience, and they don't take it too seriously. Again, if you don't abuse it. And this lets you list products before actually needing to purchase them and only ordering the product after you're guaranteed the sale and the profit. It does require a little bit more legwork, but if you're using the platform's label or you have your own shipping settings set to use the TikTok label, this is a really sustainable way to do it that works now and it will also work for the long term. The reason being is it's practically impossible for a platform to detect it. You are using their label and their tracking numbers. And that also means that customers won't get refunded as much and TikTok will end up siding with you more when customers complain that their package wasn't delivered as opposed to if you're shipping out using your own tracking numbers. So sure, you might have to relabel some packages and then either drop them off daily to the post office, FedEx, or UPS, or schedule pickups, but it's a small price to pay if you'd prefer to be 100% safe as you test products in the beginning. Now you can always change this later if you decide to drop ship directly, and I still do it this way for both Poshmark and offer up as well as some on Mercari. So I'm speaking from personal experience when I say that it doesn't take that much time or any effort at all. I'm dropping off packages every single day. I'm relabeling packages every single day and it's super easy for me to do so. It might take me 20 to maybe 30 minutes a day in total for roughly 10 to 12 packages, but it's a small price that I pay for a decent profit. And honestly, I like the little break that I get leaving my house. Now, some suppliers that work well with this method are obviously Amazon, Prime and Walmart Plus. Target's also a decent one depending on your location since they can deliver to most addresses within that one to three day window essentially. And I've even heard from some of you in the Discord group that have been smart enough to partner with a local store in your area to use this approach and then just pick up their inventory at the end of the day after you get your orders, right? And that essentially gives you a massive competitive advantage because you'll ship out products so fast as a seller and your seller metrics will be great, but also you'll carry products that nobody else on TikTok is selling and no one else can snipe from you or at least undercut the price on you. So you're differentiated and you're the only one selling that product on here, which then ties me into number two, drop shipping directly. Now, the drawback of this method is it can come with more issues and more headaches to manage. So for example, your supplier might not always ship out on time and your metrics might take a hit. Or even worse, your orders could get canceled and you could lose money. Not to mention, if your customer reports they haven't received the package, even if the tracking number does show that it's delivered to their address, quite often in my experience, TikTok will just refund the customer and keep their experience with the platform a positive one, right? So you as a seller in those situations just kind of have to chalk it up to the cost of doing business on TikTok shop 
and that's the case on a lot of other platforms but that said obviously there is a massive benefit of not needing to ever touch the products or waste your time packaging them you don't need to relabel them you don't need to ship them out and you don't need to deal with any of the logistics that normal e-com businesses do more on specifically how you can do it this way effectively in a second but obviously the main benefit is that you can drop ship directly to customers from anywhere just facilitating the sale from a supplier into that customer's address then pocketing the difference as your profit although what if you want to sell on tiktok shop but you live outside of one of the countries that it's allowed it. Can you still sell? And if so, how? Now the answer is yes, but you do need a good VPN and a partner that is crucial. And ASOX.com is a direct solution to this problem. They offer a ton of dedicated IPs that will allow you to easily access TikTok shop or TikTok affiliates from anywhere in the world. Now, once you sign up, you can simply log into their website and use any number of their dedicated IP addresses that are within the allowed countries like US or UK, for example, but they have all the available countries that you could need. And you don't have to worry about any issues with connectivity or TikTok seeing where your actual location is because ASOX masks that for you. They also provide 24 seven customer support and technical specialists are available around the clock to assist with any issues. They even protect your data too. So if you are located in a country where you can't sell on TikTok shop or TikTok affiliates, but you want to, ASOX has you covered and you can click the first link in the description to sign up. It is stupidly cheap too. It's as low as $3 per gigabyte. You can't beat that. Now to actually effectively drop ship directly to customers on TikTok shop, you first need to change your shipping settings in the back end of your shop on a computer to use your own label and your own tracking numbers when you get orders in instead of that TikTok label. And this will allow you to see the customer's information and their address, which is normally blurred out when you don't change your shipping settings and you're using the TikTok label. It will also allow any connected platforms like Amazon or Shopify or whatever to then grab that information and then process the order automatically for you, assuming you've connected it and you've set that up. If not, you'll at the very least be able to see everything manually so you can then drop ship the product directly to customers and input the tracking number that your supplier gives you into that TikTok order. To change your shipping settings, just simply go to TikTok shop, go to the orders tab, and then select shipping options right below that and choose seller shipping, not TikTok shipping. Also right after that, make sure to change your shipping template to use economy shipping as well. That way you have more time to actually get the orders delivered. It gives you up to 11 days. Now, when it comes to suppliers, there are a ton you can use with this method since the shipping times are a little less stringent. I've used Amazon directly to customers as long as it's a non-prime account. I've used e eBay, I've used AliExpress and I've used CJ Dropshipping. Again, both AliExpress and CJ Dropshipping have to be within the country. So in my case, that's the US. So just make sure that you have the checked off box where it says US warehouses only. And I've used several other suppliers as well. The key isn't so much the supplier, believe it or not though, as it is the product. You can have the best videos in the world and the best supplier in the world with the best shipping in the world, right? But if your product sucks and nobody wants it, nobody's buying, it does not matter. And that is why I always recommend to start with the product first. You need to find hot products that customers are actually buying right now in real time on TikTok shop. So to do that, I personally use Colidata and Shop Plus. Both of those are great softwares that will spoon feed you all these products and show you all the sales data on everything along with videos that are actually responsible for making those sales too. It takes the guesswork completely out of the equation. So you're listing products that you know people actually want and are buying, not hoping and praying that they will. And I've done several tutorials on each of these softwares. So I'll make sure to link a few at the bottom of the description if you wanna learn more about how to find trending products yourself. But that's just been my experience selling on TikTok shop since starting and all the different methods that have worked for me. Really hope it helps.